Hey everyone, this video is going to be a bit different as it's both my first update video and my first Q&A for this channel, so I hope you enjoy the change of pace. It won't be super highly edited or anything because honestly my brain needs some cooldown after that last video, but I hope you can just enjoy vibing with me here. Before the Q&A though, let's discuss the future of this channel. First off, while I did somewhat announce this before, it's about time this got a standalone announcement. I have a Patreon now. I really want to keep pursuing this channel to get content out to you guys as often and efficiently as possible, so please check out the Patreon if you're even remotely considering supporting me monetarily. I offer extra updates when working on videos, and you can even see early versions of my videos this way, so if that interests you, you know what to do. Regardless, all of your support means a ton to me. Though, on a somewhat related note, this has been a thing for a while, but I might as well boost it here. I have a Discord server, and it's genuinely been a blast to be a part of since it launched. Not many YouTubers are that active in their own servers, often for good reason, but you can catch me on there throughout most of the day if you're active, so if you've ever wanted a direct source to chill out with me and some like-minded fans, hop on in. And now we get to the future outline for this channel. I teased it a bit before, but let's talk about how things are changing. First off, I'm going to be experimenting with new content subjects and formulas, meaning you may see me upload a good bit more frequently, but not every video may have the same intense editing as my more major projects do. However, I'll try my best to offer the same level of analytical depth as many other projects I've done, as writing has always been my strong suit. I'm quite literally going to focus on substance over style, not necessarily abandoning all style, but rather streamlining it. But why? Well, here's what Season 2 of this channel is planning on consisting of for the most part. First off, I'm taking a slight hiatus to get used to college and to just rest my mind, but once I return, expect an analysis video of Toradora, which just happened to suddenly appear on Netflix the other week. Who would have guessed? That means you're all obligated to watch the show before that video drops, so get on that while you can. But yeah, I want to see how I can make anime analysis work alongside my gaming focused content, so we'll see how it goes. Beyond that, there are two series of videos that I'm planning on making. First, I'll be making an attempt to review every single Persona game in order, so that's going to be a new but fun exercise for this channel. I'll be playing P1, both versions of P2, P3 FES, unless people really prefer I play Portable, so comment that down below, Persona 4 Golden, and Persona 5 Royal, in that order, so expect those to release whenever they come. Furthermore, my second series is going to be a deep dive into each party member from Persona 5, Think Fither's old confidant analysis videos, but much broader and more fittingly edited, following the narrative beats and theming of each party member and what makes them all so beloved and expertly written. So many people seem to have particular characters that they either love or hate, but my goal is to show my stance on what makes each of them so special and why they connect with us. So yeah, expect a video analyzing the character arc of Joker in the future, and we'll go from there. Lastly, there are some more miscellaneous ideas, whether those be analysis videos on Fire Emblem, Sword Art Online, and Clannad, or me giving my concepts for a Persona 6, or even me designing my own palace and explaining it all for you. There's so many ideas that I want to tackle. that's not a word, tackle, especially a certain highly requested palace analysis video that I keep getting spammed and I honestly can't guarantee them all due to my own human limitations, but I'm going to try to make as many videos that I can that will both satisfy myself and all of you. So just hang tight and bear with me, I'm only human. But yeah, that's Season 2 outline for you all, with room for a few surprises left within. I seriously hope you guys continue to stick around and support this channel, whether just through YouTube or on my Patreon. You're all awesome and I couldn't ask for a more amazing community. Now onto my Q&A, which I recorded before all this, in which I answered just over a hundred of your most intriguing questions. Enjoy. Hello, people of YouTube and whatever the heck you are. Uh, I'm just recording this on the fly, so don't mind the audio quality or whatever in a pretty musty room with a garbage mic. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, from Ultra, what's your favorite game outside of Persona and Mega 10? So my favorite game of all time before P5 was Shadow of the Colossus, which that was before the PS4 remake. Once that hit, that struck even harder. Of course, P5 and Royal still top it for me, but that game is an artistic masterpiece. Please play it. Uh, Night Shadow asks, why? Off to a good start already. Joycap asks, questions. What's your most unpopular anime opinion? Uh, a good couple of people already know this one. Uh, I am a decently avid fan of Sword Art Online. 
maybe expect a video on that in the future, but that's just gonna be a little nerve-wracking, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh, from Seguru Kamashita, what can I do to atone for my sins? Uh, suffer in hell. Uh, from Bustle Boy, how do you feel about Nier Automata? I've seen you talk about it before and would like some more insight on what you think about it. Nier uh, Automata specifically is not my favorite game to play in terms of actual gameplay, but the story and narrative theming and just symbolism and everything else about it is perfection. And the uh, E ending is one of the most artistically fulfilling things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, from Cross Run Run, if you had to be the protagonist of one Persona game, uh, which one would you go for? Honestly, Persona protagonists go through some hard crap in their lives. So, I would probably go with Narukami. He does not deal with that much pain and trauma compared to... Oh gosh. Yeah, compared to everyone else. Don't get me wrong. Uh, serial killer running around, kidnapping your cousin. It's a little freaky. Uh, there, there's been a lot worse, though. Uh, from Demon Levi, which two characters do you ship in P5 that you feel nobody else does? Uh, or the rare pair, as they put it. This isn't the rarest thing, but, I mean, it's a bit rare. It's just something that, I don't know why, there's not that much interaction between them. I just find it cute. Haru and Ryuji seems kind of wholesome to me. Just getting, like, the big, doofy brute. Uh, with the cute soft girl who, in reality, he's a lot softer on the inside than he makes it seem, and she's a lot rougher. Uh, from... I man it, this screenshot does not to show the full name, I'm sorry. Uh, if you could revive any dead franchise, what would it be? Also, do you think Claude from Three Houses is hot? And yes, there is a correct answer. Uh, for dead franchises... Hmm. Punch-Out. Punch-Out is, like, my guilty pleasure for Nintendo franchises. It is pure crack cocaine for me. Don't... Don't take... I, I don't... I don't do drugs, but if Punch-Out was a drug, maybe. Also, uh, I am straight, but, uh, Claude can fail me not, if you know what I mean. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, from Hungary, would you rather ship Kirito and Suguha, or Suguha and a metal pipe with a pointy side? Hungry, get off my Twitter. Uh, from LSJMLP, okay, do you, do you think there's some truth in what people are saying about Futaba maybe being autistic? No joke, I'd honestly love your opinion on this. As someone who loves her as a character and is handicapped himself, I'm curious. Also, do you like Henry Sickman? Uh, the Futaba having, like, autism or just any mental, like, handicap theory is something that Signorish or Michelle brought to my attention first, and... Honestly, while it's not something I, like, actively think about when I look at her character, like, as something I just believe in the logic of the game, it's very far from being untrue, I'd say. Like, you could make a pretty clear, clear rationale that she has, like, Asperger's or something, which, if that's the case and you see that as good, uh, good representation, then go ahead with that. Uh, from Carnage Rome. Uh, got a couple of questions. What made you decide to start creating videos? Uh, I don't know. I mainly just, I don't know if it was wanting to make videos, honestly, or just having a cool idea for one. But being a big fan of Sequelitis as a kid, and also just having this concept of this rant about Okumura's palace, which everyone had always complained, like in bits and pieces, like, oh yeah, I don't like this maze. I think this boss is kind of dumb, it's kind of boring, Sweatshop is a mess song, but no one ever put all those thoughts together, so I thought it would be unique to do that, especially since there wasn't a lot of videos actually going in-depth into critique and just analysis of P5. Uh, oh gosh. <coughs> I'm going to die. Let me take a cool sip of water. I'm not editing this out, you gotta experience it with me. Uh, which video are you the most proud of and why? Uh, for, like, my bigger videos, I feel like I just get prouder with them as they go. Uh, the Okumura's Fixed video, I know a lot of people said it's not your favorite, especially since a lot of you disagree, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, as long as you understand my points, I don't mind. Uh, but that one had a lot of meticulous effort put into it that I'm really glad panned out. 
Though like every other video I make, there is always one tiny edit that I forget to fix or just botch right before I export the final version. And I'm on a rush schedule, so I'm like, whoop, here we go. I'm not going to say what it is in that video because then you're going to harp on me for the rest of my life. Uh, just say it. It's the uh, <laughs> the Patreon logo showing up too late in the credits. But it's barely in the video, so, eh, whatever. But no, I really like that video. Uh, what do you love most about content creation? I... I just like letting my uh, opinions on various art pieces I like just kind of be shared around, see other people's perspectives, give people more appreciation or insight into just something I care deeply about. That's just... I don't know. That, that always feels really nice to me and goes a lot into what I enjoy watching the content of other people's. It's... I don't know. It's just fulfilling to me. Is there a limit to how many questions I can ask? Does this one count towards that limit? Am I screwing myself over here? Bye, Carney. Uh, from per has Persona 5 Scramble been translated yet? Uh, pancakes or waffles? That's hard, but also waffles have those little divots that let you fit more butter and syrup into them. So I think that gets the lead. Uh, from Yoshido Bombido, what is the process behind your videos? Uh, hell, I'm not very good at making videos. I feel like the end products turn out pretty fine, but my process is a hellscape. Like what you're watching right now. I'm just in my bedroom, sitting here, lounging back in a pretty uncomfortable position with a, uh, a headphone jack, just kind of recording this while swiping through screenshots on my phone. Nothing that professional. Uh, but I guess for the order, mainly it's just uh, write a script, while watching through any content I need to, just for fact-checking purposes. And once that's done, it's just recording all the audio in whatever segments I need to, and then just putting the video together. Nothing too complicated. I just handle it in a very asinine way. From Shifty Style, if Ren slash Akira, I'm gonna ignore the second name there, just went home instead of confronting Shido, what would Persona, Fe uh, Persona 5 be like in your head? Uh. It wouldn't. Uh, Kamashita probably still needs to atone for those sins. You should probably atone! Uh, from Cam's Trash Bin, why am I still friends with you? Go home, Ash. Uh, <laughs> from True Refracted, would you rather play an entire game of P5 base Okumura arc, you cannot play any other game, or have to constantly hear the per persona you sang? Yeah, that's my biggest regret in life. Uh, probably not. No, yeah, <laughs> it, it's still funny, and I still agree with the reason why I included that at the start. But also, that is a sound clip that's going to haunt me for eternity. So yeah, I'll play Okumura's arc. It's not the worst thing ever, man. It's just the most mediocre of a game I adore. Uh, from John MK, it still cuts off. I probably should have handled this better. What other SMT slash Persona games have you played since your first video? In that video, you said you've only played P5, which, that was stretching the truth a bit, but even still, uh, some insight for me, I'm someone who has never had a lot of money nor any good computer anything to really emulate stuff well, so there are a lot of games that I experience either like secondhand or watching someone play it or like through whatever the process and don't really get my hands on it a ton. So the amount of games that I feel like I've gone through but haven't played is a lot higher, but in terms of ones I've actually straight up played, uh, I've played, uh, a lot of these aren't to completion, you can assume which ones you wish, uh, P4, P3, and P2. I'm gonna get to P1 soon, but I'll, we'll get to that. Uh, Devil Survivor, Nocturne, SMT4, uh, a little bit of Jack Bros, it's good old time. Uh, oh yeah, Strange Journey. I beat Strange Journey. That one's a... that's a trip. A, a journey, as they'd say. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Luke Sky no YT asked... I asked a question on YouTube, so I'll do a different one on Twitter. I don't know if I have the YouTube one in here. We'll see you later. If not, you've been betrayed. Question. Do you prefer on doing... Or do you plan on doing analysis videos on other Persona games like Persona 4 Golden, Persona 3 FES, or the SMT games, or would you rather just stick with Persona 5 content? I am branching out. You're gonna see that over the course of this next year, I hope. We'll see what I'm actually motivated to get done. But, 
Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna cover other stuff. You'll get to experience that. Uh, how to eat egg. Yes, that's what I'm gonna refer to you as because uh, your thing is cut off and that's a beautiful name. One, so honestly, have you played Doom 2016 slash Eternal? And if so, what are your opinions on them? Uh, super friggin' good action games. Play, play Doom. Play Doom! You can play the old, maybe not Doom. What Doom 3 is fine. Just play Doom. Play any Doom game. Uh, two, have you watched JoJo's? Yes. I don't like it. Three, when will you release my wife? Uh, from Scythicle. Where did the name Oziat come from? Uh, I almost want to keep it a secret because it's funnier that way. Also, the story is a lot more convoluted and funny than you think. You could look it up and find, like, the 10% reason of what inspired that name. But the other 90% is something you'd never figure out. Uh, let's just say it has to do with early childhood for me. Slight RuneScape inspiration, even though I personally didn't play RuneScape. And, uh... <laughs> what pad? Any <laughs> uh, two, where did the Oziac football image come from? I'm not gonna post it, but if you guys have seen that image, <laughs> it is one of the funniest out of context face reveals I've ever posted. And it is a trip. Where did it come from? Uh, even God doesn't get to know the answer to that one. From This Is Auto, what inspired you to become a YouTuber? Uh. I don't know if... I don't know, it was just kind of like a transition that happened, because I made that first video and didn't think like, I'm a YouTuber now, I was just like, hey look, that's a video I put out. A couple months later, I got more inspired to make the tier list video with Michelle. I thought that'd be really fun. And as I was working on that, that's when the video started to explode, and it kind of hit me like, there's a chance I could make something out of this, and I do like making content like this. And by the time the casino video came out, and it actually started doing really well as well, I kind of settled in on, like, this is something I actually want to pursue, and I feel like I could do something with this. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Akira ADVS, thoughts on a pers uh, possible Persona 1 remake? Uh, it would be neat. The story for P1, from what I recall, is pretty dang good as it stands along with the characters. The gameplay just needs a bit of a revision. Granted, I don't think the gameplay is nearly as bad as a lot of people say it is. It's not good, but it's it's worth going through for the story, in my opinion. Uh, from Bluebo, if you were to go on a date with a catchy, where would it be and what would the result be? So, he would most likely... I would take him to the Jazz Club. That's an obligation. Most chill place to take him. A lot of people say billiards, but he's probably going to stab me if I take him there. He's got a... He's got a... They almost call it a pole vault. A pool cue. Um... Yeah, but we'd go to the jazz club. He'd probably poison my drink, but it'd be a nice environment. From Benji55110... You guys have some creative names. Um... Are you going to change your avatar in the videos? Even though it's part of the channel's identity, a simple stick man is a bit eh. What are you trying to say about my stick man? Though I'm not better, I can only draw this kind of stick, man. Yeah, see... So um... Honestly, it's up to you guys. If there's just a big enough consensus that the stick guys don't vibe with you as much as a proper avatar, I could change it. Personally, the stick figure is just something that really sticks to be unique in my eyes, and it's also something that I can very much change on a whim, add new things to... Uh, more easily evolve over time, because I... Because my other thing, I don't really have artistic skill beyond stick figures, which I've always drawn growing up, and my one strong suit being, like, expressions. So, I don't know, if you guys d genuinely want me to, say so in the comments. But, otherwise, I think I'm content with this for now. Uh, from Emriolu, what do you think you would be doing if Persona is... is... wasn't a thing? Okay. Um... Alright, don't take this as morbid as it's gonna sound, but personally, I think I might be dead. Maybe it's in a metaphorical sense, maybe in a literal sense. 
I don't know. I can't project my eyes into whatever reality that is, because that is too drastic of a change in my life. Um, CurvyX asks, why are gamers oppressed? You know what you did. Uh, Rugi asks, do you have many scrap video ideas that you just couldn't make work? Uh, it's not necessarily that I couldn't, actually, there is one. A lot of the video ideas are just either it's too menacing to work on, and so I'm kind of holding back on it, like uh, a certain SAO video that I would have made in April if my editing schedule and life went at a decent pace. But no. Um, but yeah, it, it's mainly just fallbacks to neither life or just how major a project would be or just kind of how... Just how I'm feeling. However, there are two videos that I did want to make, and I definitely would have, but uh, we had a bit of an issue. The first one being uh, a video I kind of announced a while back, where it was... I, I had teased it where it was just getting a non-Persona fan to explain Persona, which uh, was me getting my friend Bella to explain different characters and locations and stuff from P5 that I had sent her. Problem is, we didn't prepare well enough for the video, and it sucked. And also the audio kind of had issues, and everything had issues. So unfortunately I couldn't make it, which is a- yeah, that sucks. And the second thing, which I'm actually kind of bummed about, and I could still make a video, we'll see. It could happen. Is I did a panel for Persona Con a couple about a month back, like a month and a half, and it was the Persona hum, uh, Hunger Games Simulator, and that was really fun. Like that was awesome, and I have the audio recording, but the video footage screwed up. So I could try. Editing it in a way that incorporates that audio, but the footage would be replaced with something. Um, if I did that though for artistic integrity, I would probably want to make it just like a quick cut of like really well animated stuff based on the deaths. That also sounds like a ton of work for something that could have just been the regular stream. So that's a bit of a bummer to me, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's a fun way for me to end off that statement. Really, I'm real good at this, aren't I? Um, from Mash Your Potato, who has the best confident storyline? So, I kind of have like three divides with this. Because I feel like Kyle Kami's, I know everyone jokes, haha, funny made girl go re. Uh, but in all seriousness, Kawakami is a fantastic story. Uh, that's really well handled in terms of, like, the depth of her character. On top of that, though, I feel like in terms of the actual... Because I feel like that's the best well-rounded one. In terms of... Just... Pure character... Like, shine through. I don't know if that makes any sense. Uh, Yoshida's friggin' great. And all of his... Just BT goes through that story are friggin'... It's the best. I love it. But for sheer character growth, unironically, Mishima is probably the best confidant you're going to get. Because the amount of reflection he has to do to the point that he literally has his own shadow is... Ooh, it's good. Uh, from I, Daniel Lix. Uh, have you played Kingdom Hearts... Uh, played a Kingdom Hearts game, specifically KH2? And what other RPG series that are in Persona and, or SMT do you like? I have played Kingdom Hearts. i played Kingdom Hearts 2... Uh, they're fine. Not my thing. I, there's a level of writing that my brain doesn't allow me to dip under the quality of, unless it's going to be really stupid. And Kingdom Hearts isn't stupid enough for me to, <laughs> this is mean, it isn't stupid enough for me to uh, enjoy it ironically. But it's just dumb enough where I'm like, wow, this is convoluted. Uh, also, watch Barry Kramer's video on explaining Kingdom Hearts. It's a golden, it's a golden child. Uh, for other RPGs I like, 
I have to give the biggest shout out to Octopath Traveler, the game which everyone starts and it's like, this is neat, and no one finishes because the tutorial section takes too long, which I can agree with because each chapter is an hour at the start, and that's eight hours of just, okay, I get it, it's a first chapter, it's all structured the same, the same three plot beats of just introduce this character, but something strange, someone invades or something like that. They do their thing triumphantly and they leave. It's repetitive. Once you get past that point, though, one of my favorite RPGs of all time, it's God tier. I can't even begin to talk about that soundtrack. Uh, the secret final boss sucks, though. Uh, from Eight to Sin. Don't put numbers in. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. Don't put numbers in your name. It makes it weird unless you do it real good, like like Bustle Boy, like him. Uh, shout outs to him. He showed up earlier. That was a fine one. Uh, what are your favorite fun runs slash alt runs to do in a Persona game? Uh, I know what you're trying to ask in terms of, like, you look at someone like Gnarly's content, uh, where it's, oh yeah, I'm gonna do, like, I don't know if Ars- did he? No, he didn't do Arsene only. Yeah, but it's like, let me do, like, Messiah only, Arsene only, let me do, like, a Nuzlocke. That's what people usually think. For me- I still like playing the game normally in terms of the dungeon aspect, but my fun run is New Game Plus, play the game like normal, don't cheat too much, other than in confidants, but just treat all your confidants like trash, act like a complete idiot every chance you get, including all the quizzes and stuff, and you still come out as the smartest person there. That's something I can get behind. Uh, Meloichi says hi. That, that's his question. Hi, Chi. Uh, Aaron McKay says, Will you ever publish any non-Persona-based content? If so, what? Stay tuned. Uh, Amen Attorney asks, Sometimes, what was your struggle with making videos? Pros and cons. Uh, it's mainly just, like, the scale of a video that can sometimes kill me. And just certain pieces of what, like, whether I'm not motivated for a day. Sometimes you just get a little stressed out. Though, there was one video which shouldn't have been an issue, but my computer is trash and I really need a decent computer. Uh, which is, yeah, the palace ranking video. Should have been done in less than a week. It took like three? Because, oh my gosh, my computer crashed on me, actually, unironically, 50 times. And would not load. I would sit there on that same couch for hours just waiting for the video clips to load. Uh, luckily, the, Okuma, the Okumura's Fix video did a good bit better than that in terms of cooperating. But yeah, I need a computer. Uh, from Superstar Sona, do you like my sick games, bro? Uh, dude, you got Sonic Rush. 92% the best Sonic game ever. That's kind of sad. Uh, I like Sonic Rush. <laughs> uh, from Samuel Wonder Numbers, uh, where do you get the inspiration for your avatar? All right. There's my face, and I made it a stick figure. And if you've seen my face, and it doesn't seem like it'd be like that, it is upsetting how accurately I managed to represent myself with a simple stick figure. If you see it, you'll be like, why does that look like him? This is bad. Yes, I am literally a stick figure in real life. This is true. Uh, from AP Gamer 20 hope you get those college points. Do you have any tips for small content creators? Uh, I, I, the one thing I say to a lot of people is try and let your personality shine through like any project you do. Just try and just put your passion into every video you do, like at least of the ones you really care about. And that should, if you have your identity in there and that passion, it should eventually draw in an audience. Like, People are going to find that, and the people who are meant to see it are going to find it, and they're going to enjoy it. The problem is with YouTube, and I hate that this is the case, but I experienced it firsthand. It is a pure game of luck. You can raise the odds in your favor, but to actually build an audience, it's complete luck. Like, the, I did nothing. The Okumura video was out for seven months, 
that and it very 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 gradually picked up 5,000 views which was already wild and then January hit and it was like 20,000 40,000 100,000 yeah the algorithm is just weird just you have to accept it it sucks but that's just what it is uh from Omega Aurora which persona cast member from 3 4 and 5 would you hang out with in IRL uh Chie Chie is just the coolest tom girl uh, I have a much better time talking to girls in general than guys in, like, interpersonal situations. So, I don't know. She just seems like a cool person. We could go out for lunch. Uh, from Fierce Corin, did you really shoot on back in the tier list video? Senior Orcs answered that question for them. Uh, from Sayara, feet picks when? No. Uh, from Feared, Feared Chicken. That Feared Chicken. What a name. I like that. Uh, what episode was the hardest to make? Like I said before, uh, palace ranking. Just through pure suffering. Arguably, other than that, like the original Okumura video, uh, just because I had no clue what I was doing and just had to learn editing through making the video. Uh, but yeah. Uh, from Sonic Saber YT. They have a tag, yeah. Um, why would you? What would you like for the 25th Persona anniversary? If you could make a Mega Ten spinoff, what would it be like? For the 25th anniversary, I don't know. That's a loaded question. I guess Persona Six announcement. That's the obvious one. Just give us scramble in the. Just give us scramble in the West already. We know you're making it. Just, just Atlas, do it. Um, for a Mega Ten spinoff. I hate that I already have this in my head, and no one would agree with this, but for me personally, I've always been a fan of Bloom's Tower Defense, and if we got a Bloom-style Tower Defense game, but for Mega Ten Demons, that would be the thing that excites only me, and I'd be fine with it. Or we could just get Papa's Pizzeria, but it's Jack Frost that works too. Uh, the Bottle of Jam asked, Leafa or Taiga? I love Leafa, but... Taiga is significantly better because she's not from SAO. I love SAO, but it's not Toradora. <laughs> um, uh, Titan asks, what's your favorite movie of all time? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It's off the bat. The comic is better, which is saying more about the comic than that movie. But Scott Pilgrim vs. the World and anything Edgar Wright has directed is god tier. Second favorite movie of all time, though, because I have to mention it, because why does no one even talk about this movie? Weathering With You is good. It's way better than Your Name. I love Your Name. But Weathering With You is significantly less cheesy and has a way better climax. Uh, Andrew Peekaberry... No, Andy Peekaberry says, This is a pretty weird cast question, but what do you think of a Kingdom Hearts-like multiverse crossover game? But instead of Disney and FF characters, it's Atlas and anime characters, like almost every anime in general. Um, I don't know if I like the idea of Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle meets Jump Force, but an RPG. That sounds terrifying. Uh, from Garbage MP4, if you can change one thing about one character from P5, what would it be? Make Maruki less good. He's too good. Just scale back. He's too good of a character. Uh, from your boy Roy, out of all the main personas and SMT characters, which one had the most impact in the respective entries in the series? Uh, well, we're cutting out Narukami. Actually, we'll cut out all the persona characters because it's pretty. Once you get into SMT and just Mega Ten territory. Things get a little wonky, because you have to scale what actually has more impact on the multiverse than anything. And just for simplicity's sake, Aleph did kind of just kill God. Other people have done that as well, but they, they needed a little more help than Aleph. Aleph just kind of did it. A 10-year-old child killed God. That's got to be worth something. 
Uh, from Senores, why are your opinions bad and gay? Damn, I've never been burned that bad before by a piece of wood. Riza Hydra asks, name three things you like and dislike about each of the primary three console holders and give your opinion on like PC Master Race and why it's right. Um, no. Uh, actual question, what's the one game that, for you that everyone says is bad yet you love? As I said before, Octopath Traveler. Please play it. Please play it. <laughs> Uh, from Cosro, the king. Um, yeah, there's something I was wondering. Why didn't you put your change.org thing in your recent video? So, if any of you has been following outside of just my actual video uploads, there's been a little bit of an issue for me personally that I've been trying to get resolved. Uh, I'll, I'll actually post it down in the description this time. It's, it's a bit important. If you could check it out. Super appreciated. Like, actually would change my life. Uh, it's just a petition. It's, just read it. Uh, if you agree with it, sign it. But genuinely, it'd mean a ton. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just didn't feel like forcing my personal... Uh, eh, I didn't feel like forcing my personal struggles like that. And just kind of being like, Hey, you like this funny Persona video? S sign this petition. I, don't know, I didn't. I didn't feel that'd be right, but if, if you care enough and you think it's worth it, you can sign it. I'll put it down below. Uh, from the Kempter, what is something you'd want in a potential Persona Six? That's I'll cover. Oh gosh, but well, that was a terrible hiccup. Um, I'll cover that in the future. That's all you gotta know. Some people know what I'm talking about when I say that, but I'll cover it in the future. Uh, from Acid King 1976. What did what did you? What a year. Uh, what kind of music do you listen to? Uh, I mean, I listen to basically anything. It just depends on what mood I'm in, and just what I end up finding good. Though my two big recommendations for you: first of all, two favorite bands, Muse and Ninja Sex Party. Ninja Sex Party being number one at this point, I think. It, it flip-flops a bit. Um, but if you need two super good recommendations, in my opinion, Kidsy Ghost, which is a super short album, but a god-tier one, and probably my favorite super underrated album, Icon for Hire, self-titled. Just, I, there are a few rock albums that get me that hyped up. Uh, from Kaika... Kaiom Stock... Okay. Uh, who is your biggest YouTube influence outside of the SMT fandom? Honestly, the SMT fandom didn't have a huge influence on my act, like my videos. Like, they they influence a lot outside of it, but in terms of how I make my videos and what the style is, I, I don't know. There weren't many SMT YouTubers who directly influenced that. Maybe Fither a bit. Uh. But for you, biggest YouTube influences, Scott the Waz, just, that one doesn't shine as much in the videos themselves, but that definitely is one that I feel a lot. And Ego Raptor a ton, like, you can tell. Like, Ego Raptor, he, he can be not as funny sometimes, it just depends on what he's doing, how things are going, but Sequelitis is like a gem. Like, every... When he actually sits down to write a script, even if you disagree with him, you're gonna laugh. Also, thank you, Howdy Egg, for just writing hey. Um, from Nargio, could we get a cryptic hint on what season two will have in store? Uh, let me just snap my fingers and... Yeah, there it was. You missed it. Uh, Joshua Vasquez asks, when is Ecuador's economy going to collapse? Uh, Bruno Gattaca Albernaz asks, do you like mainline SMT? Which one is your favorite? And what is your favorite de demon in SMT and Persona? Um, yeah, mainline SMT is good. Play it. Uh, which one is your favorite? Like I said before, a lot of them is just a more surrogate experience for me. The few I have beaten, I don't even know if I'd still say they're my favorite experiences overall, like Strange Journey. I don't know, SMT4 is one that really lands for me personally. Uh, who's your favorite... Actually, no, Devil Survivor. Both. 
Uh, who's your favorite demon in SMT and Persona? It flip-flops for me. Playing through P5, I had a big attachment to uh, King Frost. Now I have a half Mimi attachment to uh, Gear Macala. It depends. Uh, from Nicola Duggan, who's your favorite Persona 5 slash Persona 5 character? Really want to know. Maruki. Just... I... At first I thought it was, like, new game jitters, just recency bias. No, the recency bias in, has passed. Maruki is the best Persona character. I'm not... I'm not, de I'm not debating that. Also, the worst Persona character is Izanagi. No, Izanami. Names. Which is really funny to me, because what they accomplish in terms of their goal is somewhat similar. It's just that Izanami is really poorly written and forced in. Um, from Absolute Loser, how did you meet Signorish? Uh, you did spell it wrong. There is no, what is it, an ASCII? Enye, Enye. Michelle's gonna kill me. Um, we met through the fansite Discord server, which, uh, for some history with me, if you go back re actually, no, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna say that. That's a little too, maybe one day. It's, you might be able to find it, but that's embarrassment waiting to happen. Let's just say there's a video out there somewhere that has me that is like the worst thing I've ever recorded in my life. Uh, but yeah, I ended up finding the fansite Discord, which is still a pretty decent Discord if you want to hop in there. Um, but yeah, I just kind of chilled out there because I didn't have many friends at the time. Uh, barely knew, I didn't even know Persona had like a community like this in the West. And it, I don't know, I just started interacting with people there. Something ended up roping me in to just hanging out there more, staying in VC. Signoris was someone who was constantly in the VC. And something about our personalities just ended up clicking really well. And we just kind of went from there. Uh, are there any other games that you want to cover on this channel where we'll be sticking with Persona? Uh, sticking with Persona. That's from Brady Johnston. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cover more. Persona is my favorite series of all time, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, prioritize it. But I have a lot of other stuff I definitely want to cover. It just depends on what I'm motivated to do. Um, this is a call for help. That's, that's their name. Uh, what's your opinion on Persona 4 and Persona 3 if you played them? Are you thinking of doing a video on certain dungeons or story segments? A lot of people have said this. Uh, my problem with it is that as much as those games are great, I would have to come up with a different format from what you guys normally love for something like that, because they're not as linearly, or not as meticulously structured as something like a Persona 5 Palace, where you have the specific dungeon layout, you have the very, I guess, prevalent beats that show what is the start of each arc. You kind of have that with P4, but I don't know. I feel like as much as those games are great and they have a lot to talk about on the writing front, on the actual dungeon side of it, which I, I like having a balance, I don't know. I feel like there's not as much to actually talk about. It'd just be like, oh, I like Heaven. Heaven's got a, Heaven's a good song. Mitsuo's dungeon isn't fun to play. Actually, no, what, yeah, the sauna. I, I hate sauna. Um... Pool, pool Turtle asks, four questions incoming. I'm only answering one because I'm a douche. Uh, seriously, how much do you, did you enjoy these videos overall? I hope you're having as much fun doing these as you did in your series of books. Oh yeah, you came from there. Yeah, don't look into that. Um, yeah, but making these videos is really fun. Sometimes it gets overwhelming for me. But overall, it's a pretty good experience. Like, if I didn't want to do it... I wouldn't be doing it. It's just something that the stress mainly comes from me being too hard on myself in terms of deadlines and quality, because I just want to make the best stuff. Like, out. I just want to put it out as best I can. Uh, so that's mainly where that stress comes from, but the actual like video making, I really enjoy. 
Uh, how hard is the hardest hidden question from Blue Toad the God? That's a little too sexual for me. Uh, I am forever a part of you, Ask. What's your opinion on the idea that at any moment the world could just end? Your life could be nothing in an instant. You would, like, you'd never exist in the first place. You wouldn't think anymore. You wouldn't feel anymore. You'd be gone. Does it scare you? Do you fear death was yet? Tritoad Central asks, Do you want to talk about murders? Because don't tell me when I said this, but... Penford asks, What are your opinion on the other Persona games? They're all good. All of them. Play them. Do it! Uh, Grizzly Grizz asks, You get one week to spend with any anime character of your choice, IRL or in their world. Who would you choose, where would you go, and what would you do with them? Oh, I'm gonna... I might go to hell for this one. I don't know. The first thing that came to my head, which I'm gonna stick with because it's really funny, was Kazuma from, uh, from Konosuba. I don't know what we'd do. Probably not anything he suggests. But I would, I would spend a, a week. I would spend a week there. No longer. I don't want to be there longer. But I'd spend a week with Kazuma from Konosuba. It would be very intriguing. Uh, MM Sky asks, Mr. YouTube Man, that is me, please tell me if you'd be interested in making a video about the best team comps. This can apply to any of the Persona games. <sighs> that just sounds really boring to me, honestly. Like, no, no offense to the question itself, but just the best team composition is, this might, this might be a dumb answer. It's just whatever you're most comfortable using on, like, just use... Some teams are going to be better for different battles, pretty objectively. But that's the thing. It changes a lot. Just use whatever works best for you at whatever given moment. I'm not Svit. There is not a set best team. I, that's not... It's not true. Um, Bjorg asks... B Bjorg? I don't know. Who is the best character in Toradora? And they rep Ami Gang. I love Ami! Ami is very good. She's my second favorite character in that series, which hurts a lot to say. But also Minori all the way. Just, I, I love her. She's just, woo. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this from Ethan? Uh, but I'm pretty sure when asking for opinions on video ideas, one option was three houses based. So I'll ask, what's your overall opinion on Edelgard and her, girl, her goals? Also, if you don't mind, can I also ask what you think of Byleth as a silent protagonist? Hmm. Edelgard! I might still make that Three Houses video, by the way. Edelgard is a very interesting, complex character. Like, if you're gonna play Three Houses, I don't want to go too big into spoilers, but my suggestion, if you want to experience the game best on a first run, play Black Eagles first, because Blue Lions very blatantly spoils a very good twist. And I don't like that fact. Like, if you're gonna play the the game, my suggested order is start with the Empire route, which you'll understand why that is when you get there. No, sorry. Start with the Church route. Don't start with the Empire route. Don't do it. After you do the Church route, either play Blue Lines or Empire, just depending on what works for you. And then you can play uh, Golden Deer because it's a bit more unrelated, but it closes everything out pretty well. That's just my suggestion, but Edelgard is very complex. Even if you disagree with how she pursues things, you can understand the rationale behind it, like most really good morally complex characters, and I like that. Also, for your second note, Violet is extremely underrated as a silent protagonist which you will only understand if you play the church route. And, again, not the best, but man, it's way better than people give it credit for. Uh, Gaming Bonnie asks, will you ever gain some way to stop being a stick figure boy? Don't, 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 don't body shame, I don't, I just... I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna draw him with thicker lines from now on to find that. Um, Flame Gaming asks, if you could put another Persona character in Smash, who would it be? Uh, I wouldn't. I love Persona. It's... I don't... I prefer we actually have more other Atlas games than first. Like a Doctor from Trauma Center. Um, 
No, but my main choice for an Atlas character would probably be Flynn from SMT4. If I have to choose a Persona character... Uh... I mean, the obvious choice is Narukami. That wouldn't be my choice. I guess Jack Frost is also an option, but I don't really consider that. Um... I mean... Spoilers! Maybe skip ahead a couple seconds if you don't want to hear Royal spoilers. But Maruki would be pretty friggin' fun. That's all I'm saying. I want Persona 5 Arena just to play as Maruki. Alright. Uh, the Great Login124 asks, Do you think your obviously already perfect animation style could ever possibly get an upgrade? I'm guessing they mean the drawings, which I already answered that before. If they do mean the actual animation, though... I would say they're gradually getting better over time. Like, I've just been learning new strategies. Uh, I feel I'm improving. So, we'll see. Uh, Odd Eye Duelist asks, Favorite design of one of the main personas? Uh, I think they mean P5 because they're listing Arsene, Robin, and Loki. <sighs> they are DLC! But I have to give a shout out to Raul. That design is god tier. I friggin' love it. Though they also do mention Arsene, Robin Hood, Wilkie, top tier designs. That also isn't mentioning the other fantastic designs that come with... Man, I love, I love so many of those P5 party member designs, because Zoro is super underrated. Like, if you actually look into the design concept for it in the art book, uh, it's such a clever design. Uh, Carmen is great. Captain Kid is god tier. So is William. William is so good. Ah, uh, but man, uh, Satsuna, I like Persona. You ever hear that? Let's take a swig to that one. Um, Hangul Park asks, is making content affecting IRL or mental health? And do you enjoy making videos? Uh, in all honesty, I don't know if I'd say like affecting mental health and like, oh, I'm getting a depression or something. I do, I do stress a little about like how my videos are doing and when I get them out and stuff. I also get slight Stockholm Syndrome when I'm like, I gotta work, I gotta work on a video. Do you have to be doing this? Why are you taking a break? So that's, that's a thing. Otherwise, I really enjoy making videos. It's a great time. I like, I like coming up with unique concepts that haven't really been done and just going through with them. I don't know. I, I just like putting unique spins on videos and just going full throttle. Uh, Default asks, who's your favorite YouTuber besides yourself? I'm far from my favorite YouTuber. Scott the Woz. Hands down. Scott the Woz is like JonTron in terms of quality, except actually it's still funny. Sorry, JonTron. But Scott the Woz is still funny. Uploads every week, unless he's on, like, one of his very rare hiatuses. Or, uh, I don't know. He's just good. He's, like, his videos are informative, they're funny. Every week is, like, something I look forward to that with. He does not have a bad video. Even Scott's most mediocre video, which I forget what it was. I remember I saw one, like, last year where I was like, oh, okay, it was, it was okay. And I thought that was his worst video. Still really good. Scott... Scott has not released a bad video in his life. Watch his, <laughs> watch his frat house video and or Kobe 2012. Those are some hidden gems that I adore from him. Uh, also, it's awesome, baby. Got a little cameo in the Okumura Fix video for good reason. It's fantastic. Uh, Splater Knight asks, did you ever expect to get as many subs as you have when you first posted the Okumura Palace is bad video? No, that video did poorly, which I expected. I just wanted to get it out. I just, it was just a thing I was like, this is my passion project. I'm in school, whatever. This is just what I do in my free time while I'm not doing my homework. D do your, do your homework. I'm a bad example. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I expected, like I said before, like 50,000 views at best. Like, and that being, like, best, best case scenario. And for a while, it was about what I expected. Like, yeah, 5,000 views. Yeah. 
It's about normal. It's almost at 400,000. Yeah. Because it was... It was going very slow for a while, to the point... I didn't really check. I was like, okay, cool, I'm glad some people were watching it. And it just exploded. And spammed everyone's recommendations, which I'm sorry about. But that's... I don't know, it's weird. It's really weird. I didn't expect to be here. And it's weird. Uh, some Peach asks, aside from video games, are there any movies or TV series that you're a huge fan of? Yes! Uh, I get to whisk down a rapid fire of everything I love, but, uh... Oh, what do I even start with? Toradora, off the bat. Uh, Blade Runner 2049, great movie. So is Scott Pilgrim, so is Weathering With You. Uh, Limitless is super underrated as a movie. Uh, for anime, Modern Sword Art Online is actually, like, 9, 10 out of 10. Uh, watch Alice is Asian War of Underworld. It's really good. Uh, Quinad, Anohana. Ooh. Oh, Monogatari. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gushing now. Don't don't mind me. Bojack Horseman, in terms of, like, cartoons, is the best adult cartoon ever made. I'm, I'm sorry, Boondocks and what other, whatever other options are there, but Bojack Horseman is just the best adult cartoon. Infinity Train, also good. Gravity Falls, God Tier, Legendary. If you want, if you love Gravity Falls, watch DuckTales 2017. That show is phenomenal. It's arguably just as good. It's just still going. And it's, it's, yeah, if you love Gravity Falls, watch the new DuckTales. Man, there's just a lot. Did I say Infinity Train? Watch Infinity Train. That will punch you in the gut. Also, Breaking Bad. Watch Breaking Bad, watch Better Call Saul, watch El, El Camino, everything involved with that. There's just... There's just a lot. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Viggs asks, What was your first writing piece that you made in pursuit of your passion for writing? <sighs> the thing is... I've... Admittedly always been... At least for my age, and like... Obviously I always get better over time. But... For my age, I always feel like even since, like, I was really young, people have always been like, wow, you're a pretty good writer. But it was never something I really went into. On... Actually, here. I guess for a little backstory. Played with toys a lot as a kid. I was a very lonely kid. I just talked to myself and played with toys. Told lots of stories with them. Stupidly massive overarching narrative with an entire toy box. Uh... Yeah, that's what you get to hear about me. But, that was my love for storytelling, but in terms of actual writing... <sighs> uh, Mayo wrote a Sonic fanfiction once. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um, you can't... Uh, I could re-upload it somewhere, but don't find it. Don't find it. You can't find it right now, but if it does reappear, don't find it. Um, from Waifu Wars, do you wish you could be as thick as Adam Cadmon? Well, my name's not Adam for nothing. Uh, from Aiden Suravec, which house is your favorite on Fire Emblem Three Houses? Uh, they all have their big strong suits. Blue Lines is probably the most consistent. Uh, Golden Deer is very entertaining and just goofy, and I love the literal colorful characters they have there. But I don't know, Black Eagles is just the one that's always hit home for me. I, I love the story that comes with them. Each of the characters has a very good, distinct personality that comes- Well, every character in Three Houses is very distinct. But I, I like Black Eagle, shut up. There's some more water for me. Um, Crane Genesis. Best vanilla P5 Palace theme. Only thing vanilla because if I said royal, it would obviously be Gentle Madman. I do love Gentle Madman. I don't know if I'd make it my pa favorite palace theme. I, that was one where I had recency bias. I was like, this is the best one. It's up there. Though, so for favorite... I don't know. I love Whims of Fate, but it's far from my favorite one. I would either have to go with Ark or Price. Probably Price. Price is one that I can jam out to just any time. It's, it's the ultimate bop. From the Norman... Do you ever consider making videos on other SMT games or any other franchise? Um, there's another one where all I have to say is the yeah. 
and I can just move on. You'll see. You'll see what comes. I I don't like boxing myself into what I can make, which feels like it feels kind of contradictory because you're like a lot of people are like, oh yeah, all you make is P5 content. Like, why don't you branch out? And I do want to branch out, but I'm not gonna make a video that I'm not motivated to make. Like, if I don't feel inspired to make a video on a topic that I do find interesting, but I'm just not feeling it, it it's gonna turn out bad. I'm not gonna be passionate about it. So, I don't know. I feel like vowing for an exact video that I'm not really ready to go off on is not smart for me. So, eventually, it's going to happen. Just, I can't say one. Uh, probably in the next year, though. That's just my rough estimate. Could be in, like, a month or two. Just keep an eye out. Uh, <laughs> Anime Edits asks, What was your reaction to wake up day after day and see your passion project for years grow beyond your wildest dreams? Uh, <laughs> yeah, strange. I, I already said it before, strange. It was even funnier. Not weird, but just funny seeing it not take off and being like, yep, that video's out there. Uh, that, that was just a, a time in my life that existed. I don't, yeah, because it was more weird actually finishing the video, because that was a huge meme in my friend group of me getting this video done that I had been planning for who knows how long. And I did it, eventually. It's still really funny. Um, KitagawaYT1711 asks, How did you get into the Persona fandom? Now, me getting into the fandom is very different from me getting into the games. Whole different story for that. The fandom, though, honestly, was just me browsing YouTube and just seeing Fither content. Like, that introduced me to a whole world of, like, wow, there's actually, like, a big discussion that goes on with this stuff. And it's something that I feel really passionate about. So, like, I'm gonna forever thank Fither for actually... I don't know if the way I would put it is having that audience so that I'd be able to kind of feel at home in the fandom. I don't know. Uh, Diego Gonzalez asks, Do you prefer P5's original final arc and ending or Royals? That's a complicated question. I'm going to say this as intentionally and delicate as possible, but it's still going to be confusing to you guys. I think that Persona 5, and many people already disagree with the statement, but I feel like Persona 5 has an almost perfect ending. Like, aside from a few tiny notes, P5 has a perfectly poetic ending that wraps up in a masterful way. P5 Royal removes that, and the ending is goes from a 10 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10, but we also exchange that for third semester, which is the best arc in all of Persona. At least, no, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my guns on that. Best arc in Persona. So, it's your, it's the trade-off of which Royal obviously, you know, provides both. So you can experience whichever version you want, depending on what you prefer. But it's a trade-off of, do you want the shorter, uh, more just perfect closer? Or do you want it to drag out a little more, but get a god-tier arc in return? So, yeah, it's, it's just whatever you feel like. Personally, yeah, the original ending is better, but third semester is worth it. Uh, stick, also, actually, no, before I move on, I will say this, Royal's addition for each individual character's arc and how they end up moving on and knowing they can't stick together, as cathartic as that original bus ride home is in P5, that's a powerful scene and very fitting. Um, but yeah, Stickman Kevin, fellow Stickman over here, uh, asks, do you play Smash? If so, who do you main? Avid Lucas main. Uh, my backups are Ice Climbers and Pichu. If you've ever seen me play Smash, uh, Michelle can attest, it is a sight to hold. Not because I'm god tier or anything, it's because I play like an idiot, but somehow win a little too much than I, a little more than I should. Um, Brax the Grace Gamer, I hate that name with a burning passion. 
please change it. <laughs> um, ask, what are your thoughts on the Danganronpa games? And do you ever plan to make videos on them? I played them all. I don't feel like talking about them. I know that upsets a lot of you. I just, it's not that I don't have enough to say. I just don't, I don't feel like it. If I ever do, if I ever get motivated enough to make a video on Danganronpa, I already know. It's either going to be me feeling like I'm going to make this video talking about how Danganronpa 3 is a very good, underappreciated anime, or how I hate V3's ending and it can burn in a fire. Also, don't, don't post the video, the feather video, being like, oh, but have you seen this? It might change your opinion. I've seen it. I get it. I still dislike that ending. But yeah, will I make a Danganronpa video? Probably not. That's more, that's more Senior's territory. But, eh, never say never. Uh, Carter's Yu-Gi-Oh videos. <laughs> See, that's a good name. That's one you gotta strive for. Uh, what did you eat for breakfast this morning? I had, a, I had a breakfast sandwich. It was okay. Could have been better. I'm hungry. Um... Catherine Manning asks, do you plan on making Let's Plays or are you sticking with reviewing? If I ever do Let's Plays, which I have some plans for something that I can't really say right now, but... Yeah, if I ever do a Let's Play, it'll be on a different channel. But, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why I keep acting like there's something more to say. If I ever do Let's Plays, it's gonna be on a different channel. I might do them. If I do, it's not gonna be exactly what you expect, though, you might, honest. It's not the hardest thing to guess. But, like I said, we'll see. But yeah, for the main channel, I mainly just wanna focus on the more straightforward analysis videos. I That's that's what the identity is on here. I don't really wanna alienate. I do post occasional, like, just meme -y stuff and reactions, but, and the Let's Plays, I feel like, I feel like get a little spammy in terms of what uploads show up. And I'm very asinine in what appears on my actual library of videos. I like just having that straight catalog of the quote unquote bigger videos you can rewatch rather than just a list of Let's Plays there. Uh, from Joey H, what was your favorite or one of your favorite videos to make and or watch that you made? Um, hmm. My favorite video to make, I just enjoy them more and more each time. So probably this most recent one. But my favorite video to watch? I don't know, I do get some comfort in watching that spoiler discussion for P5R. It's my objectively worst edited video, I'd say. Because I didn't really edit it that much. It was just a loop of video that I probably could have formatted better. Because otherwise you're going to get a little nauseous watching it. Um. But yeah. I, I don't know. I just. I like talking to my friends. And that's just a video of me talking to my friend. So. Yeah. I know, I know the people who do like that video. Really like that video. And I can understand it. Uh. Flare the Jolly Dragon S asks. Uh, four questions. One, why did you decide to make YouTube videos? Uh. Um, two, what, who or what inspired you to become a writer? There's not really a who to that question. Me. I did. It was me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just, I've always loved storytelling. And one day I just kind of went ham writing a Sonic fan fiction. And... It's not good, but the heart is there, and I still understand the idea that went behind it. And now I'm writing a story that is, I think, the first one where I fully feel like it's something quality. It's not perfect, but I have a proper idea of what I want it to be. Uh, three, do you have any advice for aspiring writers? Sometimes you just have to write. I, I get caught in the loop a lot of being very meticulous of, I need to make sure this idea is very airtight, no plot holes, just, I can't ramble off, just, it's a first draft, just write, just write whatever idea comes to your head, however you feel the story needs to progress, 
if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter, and I get, I, the perfectionist side of me says, okay, but maybe, maybe don't. Just write. See what happens. Sometimes you uncover some crazy hidden gems in writing when you do it that way. Um, and final question, how are you doing? I am okay. Uh, Nestor So says, would you recommend SMT and why? Yes. If you're a Persona fan, it's... <laughs> SMT is not as hard as people say. It's not. Nocturne is not as hard as people say. If you're a Persona fan, Nocturne is probably the best place to start. It's different enough to show off what SMT is like, but similar enough in format that it's not the most alienating experience. Nocturne's a good place to start. Play it. Masterpiece. Maybe get the Switch HD version. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, Joe Garana Muscaria available. I hate. Oh, yeah, that's. Ooh, that's a name. I'm gonna take some water. Yikes. That's another name. I'm bullying you guys today. Uh, what is your favorite piece of music for Persona 5 slash the Persona series in general? Rev. No, yeah. Yeah, words. Words, you gonna come to me? You gonna, you gonna cooperate? That's what I thought. No, but Rivers in the Desert is a phenomenal song. Like, that, that's just my favorite song in the series. I love it. It makes me happy. I believe is also masterful. I just really like the P5 soundtrack. Um, Battle for Everyone's Soul is good. Persona Q 1 and 2 have very good soundtracks. Persona 4 Dancing has a lot of good remixes. The other dancing games, I'm a little more iffy on the remixes. Um... But yeah, also, I have to rep School Days because it is the best jazz bop. Uh, Phantom Strife Gaming asks, Have you found the time to play the other two Persona games? What do you... What do you mean the other two? Uh... <laughs> no, I've... I've dabbled in them. Uh... I still need to actually beat them. Which might play into some future videos, but yeah. Um, Connor Coffee asks, what's your all-time favorite anime? Toradora. A lot of people disagree with this statement, but I I don't think Toradora is the best anime ever, but of what I've seen, I think it's the best written anime of all time. And I've seen a lot of really well-written anime. I've seen Quinnad. <laughs> Watch Quinnad. That's, that's a good one that people don't appreciate. Yeah, but Toradora is one of those shows that I'll perpetually say, on a first watch, it's an 8 out of 10. And on a second watch, when you actually understand everything that's going on in that story and all the character dynamics, it's a clear 10 out of 10. It's, ooh. Ooh, I'm... We'll get to Toradora soon enough, don't worry. Uh, Carnage Ghost asks, what is the video that took the longest to make? Uh, first video. That took me, not counting the script, took me six months to make. If we count the script, it took me like two years, maybe like a year and a half. Cause I just kind of had the idea and I kept writing scripts and they were all really bad. And one day I kind of just got a feel for the script writing and just went into it like early January at school. And the video just kind of started and I made it. Over six months. Yeah, that's just what happened. Uh, you girl Slayer asks, will you come to my birthday party? With a username like that, you bet. Uh, Jake Hawker asks, how long did it take you to write your first video on your channel? Did I just answer this? I think I just answered this. Uh, kinda. The first video, yeah, I just had a bunch of random drafts. I don't know why I have a very vivid memory of writing one of them at a ramen place. But that one didn't go through. That script was bad. The proper script that I got done took me like a week, maybe two. And this was during school. Like all of this, I was just in school bored, uh, not doing a virtual class because I already finished them and I had nothing better to do. And I just kind of wrote them. Uh, Ozanacho Gamer asks, I don't have any questions, so I just want to say that you should keep up the good work since I never think your videos are below the greatest, except for April Fool's, but that doesn't count. A video is good, though. Uh, that's self-gloating, but yeah. 
But this comment made me come up with a question. Is this your first channel or is the Okumura Palace is bad video your absolute first video? Because the quality is on par with veterans of YouTube. First of all, thanks a ton. A lot of people say those videos are really well handled and like really well edited for first videos. And I, I see a lot of flaws in my own work, but still it means a lot hearing that. But I mean, those are technically my first videos. I have like home videos and dumb little skits I made as a kid on another channel. But those are like not edited, are literally just like uh, web my, my web camera on my old PC as a kid. Just kind of turn it on. I swing a big old katana around. I stop it and I just play another clip of me swinging around a katana. Those videos are terrible. Um, but yeah, in terms of proper like editing and just actually being like, this is a video I want to make. It's, I don't know, what I consider a real video of something I made, this was, that was the first one. And I'm proud of how it turned out. It's not, it's not God tier. I don't even know if I'd say it's that good. I think it's fine. That's, you know, and I'll be a little nice with myself. I like the video. It's good. It's like a six or seven out of ten, maybe. <laughs> it's the SAO of videos. What a way to end this off on. Um, but yeah, that was my that was my first. And I, I think I did okay. But I think that's all the questions that I screenshotted, feeling they're worthwhile. <laughs> that's a mean way to put it. Sorry if I didn't answer yours. A lot were repetitive over one another and or I didn't really feel fit super well into the video also I don't want to sit here talking forever I'm already losing my voice but uh thank you for watching and I don't know how to end videos but I don't know you're all cool uh okay I take it back